Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to find the longest word in a string. We want to return the length of the longest word in the provided sentence. Your response should be a number. Remember to use read, search, ask if you get stuck. Write your own code. Okay, so here, um, well the first thing, I, as always, I'm just going to console log uh, the, font, the, the result because we want to get, so right now what we're doing is we're passing in we're taking the find the longest word length, this function, and we're passing in a string, which is this string. The string dot length is what we're returning. So we're just returning the length of this string. So, um, but what we want to do is probably get jumped, right? Because this is the longest word in the sentence. And so, well, one thing that we could do is, um, first off we can, let's say we'll set a variable to longest word. We'll set that equal to a empty string at this point. And then we're going to return the longest word dot length. So if the longest word dot length is jumped, we're going to return six, which means we're going to return a number and it's the length of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, but we need to iterate through this whole um, string in order to get and pick out just the different words. So how would we do that? Well, we could say, we could say let word the words could be equal to the string dot split, and we split them by a space, right? And so now let's console.log the words. Cool, so now we've got an array. And so what we know we could do now is we could just iterate through here. Say this is the first word and check to see if it's the length of it is longer than our longest word. So initially we would say is the longer than an empty string and they, we, that's true. So then we would move on, save the longest word as the and then we'd move on to quick. Is quick longer than the? Yes, because the length of quick is one, two, three, four, five letters and the length of the is three. And so longest word would be saved as quick. With brown it wouldn't happen because brown one, two, three, four, five has five. So our longest word would still be quick. And then we'd go to fox, and then we'd have jumped. Jumped is longer than quick. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to iterate through this words array, right? So we could say for, um, and we'll say let i equal zero. Uh, i is um, less than the um, words dot length, and then i plus equals one. And so now if we were to console.log, instead of console logging the words here, let's console.log the words at position i. And so now we're going through and we're getting the length of each one, uh, or the, we're getting the string of each one of these words. So what do we want to do? We want to say if the words at position i, well here actually what we could do is we could say let an individual an individual word is equal to words at position i. And then we could say, um, we could just console log individual words. So with individual word, now we've got the wor individual word um, printing out. So we could say is, if the individual word dot length is greater than the longest word dot length, then we want to say the longest word is equal to the individual word, right? And for some reason we're getting zero. Hmm. What's the console dot log, the longest word? And G T H. Oh, I always make this longest word dot length. L E N G T H. Ugh. Cool. So the longest word was initially the, and then the next time it was quick, and the longest word dot length now is six. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what the longest word is. It's jumped. Okay, cool. So we basically have that right. Um, I'm going to get rid of these console logs because they're not required for us to pass the test. And if I run the tests, it looks like they passed. 
So again, we're splitting this. Let's. Uh, I'm just going to go over this one time. Um, we're console logging out, find the longest word length. And so this is the string that's being passed in. So the string is set to here. And we're dividing the string up based on, because we're dividing it based on the spaces. So this is the one word. This is the second word. And then we divide by the space. This is the third word. Divide by the space. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. And then so if we were to console.log words again, you can see that we've got an array of individual strings. And now what we're, and then afterwards what we're doing is we're creating a loop where we're setting i equal to zero. And so, and then i is less than the words dot length. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine words. So we're saying while i is less than nine, um, we're going to run this loop, and then we're going to iterate i up. So, initially, i is equal to zero, so the individual word is the. And we say if the individual word length is greater than the longest word length, the gr longest word length right now is at zero. So, if three is greater than zero, then the longest word, which is this variable, becomes equal to the individual word. So, we say the longest word becomes the. And then we keep going through. I becomes, once we get to the end, I increments by one, and I becomes one. One is less than six, or the, uh, the length of the array. And so the next individual word becomes quick. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this console for now. If we were to console.log the individual word, you could say the quick. So quick, if the individual word quick, which is one, two, three, four, five words length, is greater than the longest word dot length, and right now the longest word is equal to the, well then we make quick equal to the longest word. And we keep going through there, and then once we get jumped, that actually becomes the longest word. And so once we're down here, you can see if we were to console log the longest word, it's equal to jump. But what we're doing is we're saying the longest word dot length because the instructions ask us to find the longest word length, not just the longest word. And that's how we get there. So we run the test and they pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.